I'm win! What is up, y'all? It is Wednesday, May 10th today. About to head over to the field, throwing up to 60 feet today. Threw 60 feet on Monday, but did not record. It was a little off day that we had, so took some time to, you know, kind of focus on, on baseball that day. So, yeah, arm's been feeling good. Hopefully it'll feel good again today. Head over to the field, get the work in. The boys and I are going to Fort Jackson today, going to do some team bonding stuff. As y'all know, we haven't been playing the way we've wanted to play the past about two weeks. So going to go to Fort Jackson, get some team bonding in, get back that chemistry and stuff that we had at the beginning of the year. So looking forward to it. Going to be a great day. Um, Fort Jackson's always fun. So excited to go do that stuff. Yeah, I'll see y'all over there. Alright y'all, back here at the apartment. Throwing went well today, arm has been feeling really good. But I kind of wanted to just talk to you guys a little bit about the three different apps that I've been using on a daily basis. One that I use every day and two that I've been using on every throw day. So um, first one is the Pulse app that I've been using to throw. I'll put it up on the screen right now. But basically what that has been doing for me is it's been calculating my workload. It's been recommending a workload and it also calculates how many throws I make, how many high effort throws I make, the average torque on those throws as well in my elbow, which is obviously something I want to keep an eye on right now. And it also comes out with these charts of your throwing. So it'll calculate the total torque, the arm slot and the arm speed. Um, so it'll basically come up with a chart for that, which is pretty cool. It helps me know how hard I'm throwing, how much stress I'm putting on my elbow right now, which is something that I wanna keep an eye on, obviously. And um, so this is my throwing from today. It said my workload was six and a half, and my average arm speed, it was 506.5. Um, it's also calculating high effort throws to really not be high effort throws right now, just because every time I've been throwing, it's been slow. Like a high effort throw is like, basically calculating what a high effort throw would be for somebody who doesn't throw extremely hard. So basically right now, I'm mainly looking at arm speed and uh, arm slot. My arm slot's been hovering around like 42 to 47 degrees, I'd say in that range, which is normally where my arm slot is. I just wanna make sure that I'm not dropping or bringing my arm slot up in this recovery process. And I'm also looking at my arm speed because my arm speed is something that is key to me throwing too hard or too slow. So we wanna make sure that my arm speed is in a good range as well. The second app I've been using is the PitchLogic app and the PitchLogic ball I've been using as well. I'll put up on the screen right now what the app looks like on my phone and a sample throw of what I threw today. And then I'll also put up the chart or full report up there as well right now um, so you guys can see every single pitch that I threw or every throw that I threw I should say but uh, yeah this this is great because it helps me track my spin efficiency guys come back from TJ a lot of guys tend to cut the ball a lot so I want to make sure that my spin efficiency is anywhere from 95% to 100% which is what my normal spin efficiency is uh, which means I'm using all that spin to make the ball go where it is supposed to go. So my fastball rides, it doesn't sink or cut, it's, it stays true and has that rise effect. So in order to keep that rise effect, I need to have a high spin efficiency. And today it was very, very good. It was 95 to 100, which is where I want to be. And it also calculates the velo for me to make sure that I'm not throwing too hard or throwing too slow in the recovery process as well. That's an, a great tool to have. Definitely recommend Pitch Logic to anybody out there who is recovering from TJ or is working on pitch design stuff. This app is great for that. And the ball is pretty accurate from, from what I've experienced. So definitely recommend Pitch Logic as well. And lastly, the app that I have been using, some of you guys who watch my channel may watch Trevor Bauer's channel, but I've 
basically got this app from him. It's called Four App. Basically tracks everything that I do. So it'll track my soreness in my arm, upper body, and lower body. And it also tracks my sleep. Uh, and it will create these charts based on certain statistics that I put into here and it will give me a score for the day. So basically it'll be red, yellow, or green. Obviously red meaning the worst, green meaning the best. This has been a super helpful app too. Helps me know if I'm recovering correctly, how much sleep I'm getting, gives me some numbers. And that also ties into the Apple Health app as well. And this guy right here. These three apps have definitely been helping me out. Gives me an idea of where I'm at in the recovery process and obviously some tools to help make sure that I'm not going too hard or not going hard enough in the recovery process as well. So other than that, had to get all packed to go to Arkansas tomorrow. It's gonna be a super fun weekend. Uh, as y'all know, like I said, haven't been playing the best ball recently, but took a little trip to Fort Jackson today. Did some team bonding stuff, so had, had a good time with that. We're feeling good. We're feeling confident heading into this weekend. We're getting back onto the healthy track too. I know some of you guys in the comments are asking about injuries and stuff. Looking forward to going to Arkansas this weekend and hopefully taking a series from those guys and uh, get back right where we were uh, a couple weeks ago after beating some really highly ranked teams. So, All right, y'all. Got to the field early this morning. Got a little lift in, hit legs. Some upper body as well, but mostly legs. Body's feeling good. Arm's a little sore today after throwing yesterday, but got a charter flight today, so we don't have to take the bus, thank God. Should be a fun weekend. Arkansas is a beautiful place. Um, gonna be lots and lots of fans, so it's gonna be the first like really hostile environment, I'd say, that we've played in this year, so gonna be interesting to see how we how we play, but um, I'm excited. Get on the plane, head to Arkansas, get a little practice in tonight, and uh, get ready for the weekend. All right, y'all, as y'all can see, made it to the beautiful Baumwalker Field. This place is sick. I mean, definitely compares to Founders for sure. This place can be sold out, but uh, guys are getting some practice in right now. I'm gonna do my rehab for the day and then probably shag some fly balls. Same routine as last week if you watched the Kentucky video, but uh, yeah, let's get it. Look at this kid getting his rehab in with the goat. y'all in the hotel room about to head down to the scouting report and then head over to the field as y'all know it's friday today got a throwing session today 25 throws at 60 feet and then we have the game tonight friday night in the sec arkansas sold out tonight should be a lot of fun but yeah gonna go get the scouting report done head over to the field see y'all there Alright y'all, out here at the field, getting ready for the game, we got the boys. As you know, Friday night score prediction, I got 6-3 to three Gamecocks, I don't know, 
could be could be a big scoring night, but I'm playing it safe. Six three Cox. Ryan. Sue Cox. What do you got? Uh, seven five. Uh, seven five. Beck. That's my pr seven five. I said it first, not Ryan. He did. He did say it first. I didn't hear it. Sam. I got four to two Cox. Four to two. Brock. Oh, five three Cox. Five three. I like it. I like it. I like it. Yeah.
Ariel, even the series up, we're here, with, we're here with this kid. It's real hot out here today. It, it is hot today. It's Mother's Day, representing in the pink. Love you, Mom. I know you're watching. Chance to win the series on the road against the number three team in the country. Boys are going to bring it today. We're excited. Let's go. I love you, Mom. Tip it. Xander. Happy Mother Day, Mom. Oh my god, I called it, I called it! On the chase for the 15th overall national title in the coming weeks, now let's join our outdoor track and field SEC champion coaches and call the back from Arkansas. Um, tough weekend again. Um, did manage to win one out of the three games we played, which against those guys, third in the country on the road with their atmosphere. Um, that's not an awful weekend, but um, obviously would have liked to win the weekend. Got to look at the circumstances. Walking away with one win is better than no wins. So yeah, got Tennessee coming in here next weekend for the final series of the season. Then we will head to Hoover for the SEC tournament. We're not sure what seating is going to be like yet, but Tennessee has been pretty bad on the road this season, so we'll have the, the advantage with them coming to us, and hopefully Founders Park is pretty packed out. But, yeah, we'll see how next weekend goes. But that's going to be it for this one, guys. Hopefully you did enjoy. If you did, be sure to leave a like down below. Also, if you're new to the channel, be sure you subscribe. And click that little bell down below so y'all can get notified every single time I upload new content. And yeah, y'all, that's going to be it for this one, and I will see y'all next week. Peace out.